Hi, I'm Maddie, and I will be refuting the claim that mental health has a big impact on college students and affects them in various ways. Uh, my opponent's claim was more of an informative claim, which leads me to uh, respond to a more specific one, such as how mental health issues on college students are not uh, noticed or um, are often ignored. And I will be arguing that mental health issues are actually properly addressed and acknowledged. Uh, my opponent has three supporting points, such as why it is that college students are facing mental health issues, uh, how do mental health issues affect students, and what other mental health issues do students face other than uh, lacking in their studies. Today I will be talking about how there are multiple hotlines for college students to call to help deal with their mental health, how college campuses have several mental health facilities and therapy to help deal with their issues, and how there are various world programs that deal with stress and suicide, suicide specifically for college students. My <coughs> opponent's first point is why, it, why is it that college students are facing uh, mental health issues? And this serves as a question, uh, which serves for more uh, for something uh, like an informative speech. And he argues that students often feel stressed when midterms are approaching and they have a lot of projects due. But he uses very little evidence. He only uses uh, one uh, credible source. And without multiple, uh, it lessens his, cre his credibility. And yes, students face stress with midterms and other work. But it is acknowledged that they're experiencing this stress. And there are various hotlines open 24-7 that can help students if you're um, like about to commit suicide, have anxiety, are facing exceeding levels of stress, facing abuse, or anything that can affect your mental health. Uh, Award-winning writer Natasha Tracy, who specializes in mental health, states that 12% of suicidal callers said that talking to someone at Lifeline prevented them from harming or killing themselves, and almost 50% followed through with a counselor's referral to seek emergency services or contact mental health services, and about 80% said that Lifeline had something to do with keeping them alive. So college students are facing mental health issues, um, but their issues are not ignored. Uh, they don't have to feel alone because there are several facilities that can help them if they um, to like get better. And there are also new hotlines for college and university students. Uh, there's a hotline called Good to Talk, which operates 24-7, 365 days a year. And it is uh, an anonymous uh, telephone company for students aged from 17 to 25. And uh, callers can speak confidentially and anonymously. Uh, to help with their problems and the Good to Talk hotline stated that it can be a difficult time of life so we provide immediate help to students who are facing challenges with the transition to post-secondary school who may be dealing with addiction, mental health issues, or simply facing stress uh, they're not sure how to deal with. So the advocate fails to reason that yes, college students are going through stressful times, uh, but they are being offered help through multiple resources, but it is their job to get the proper help that's needed. The opponent's second claim was how do mental health issues affect students, which is still a question providing more um, information for an informative speech. And he backs up his claim using the same source as his first, uh, his first point. Uh, and he argues that mental health problems affect uh, students' attendance and lower their academic performance. But he fails to reason that it is still their students' responsibility to get help when they know that they are facing this problem. Uh, college campuses have several mental health facilities and therapy to help deal with their mental health. Um, some colleges even offer free therapy, uh, such as uh, uh, University of Southern Ca uh, California. And Barbara Sadek, uh, a contributor for the U.S. News, stated that those in crisis at the University of Cal Southern California, who account for about half of the more than 2,000 students seen each year, are helped immediately during and after hours by crisis counselors and are provided help until they are stable. So there are people on campuses who are willing to give you free help. Uh, so students, they're really like their problems, their stress, everything they're dealing with, they're not ignored, but it is really their responsibility to get help before it worsens. And colleges are also expanding their resources to help college students in need. Other uh, college campuses, such as Carleton College, they offer uh, art therapy sessions to help under undergrads who are dealing with depression and anxiety by drawing, painting, reading, and discussion. And Hamilton College is actually uh, creating a new uh, innovative that helps students at Penn State uh, with web-based tools that help them determine whether they're anxious or depressed and to try an online five or six week uh, treatment module using cognitive uh, behavioral therapy before opting for counseling. And the school's 24 hour crisis line provides immediate access to support. So students are actually like being handed help to lower their mental issues. And um, the, my opponent's third point is what other mental health issues do students face other than lacking in their studies? And he used the same source again from his first uh, and second point which really uh, lessens his credibility. Um, 
He argues that stress can lead to depression, suicide, and binge drinking. And this is a fact. There's not really any like controversy on it. So it serves for more as an informative speech. And yes, stress can lead to these things, but you can get help through various world programs, uh, such as the Garrett Lee uh, Smith Memorial Act. And basically, uh, there's three programs on this, and these three programs have made a significant difference in addressing the issues of suicide. Um, and it is noticed that college students are facing all these problems, suicide, stress, anxiety, everything. But uh, again, in conclusion, there are various hotlines for students to, to get help when they're dealing with their mental health. Uh, college campuses are actually expanding their resources to help students in need. And there are various worldwide programs that help deal with stress prevention, suicide, and mental health. So overall, um, mental health issues are actually properly address, addressed and acknowledged. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, he plays ball. That's funny. <laughs> I was like, every college that you get.